Hello folks, welcome to our fourth and final look at Elemental Carestialism, and this big old mod full of missions and all sorts of content. At this time I'm going to focus on the kind of questy missiony type things. Last time we picked up a quest to secure the dirt and the like planet. Uh, so I think this is going to have to be one where we bugger off back to sail and see what they've got to say about this. Oh god, what a <laughs> evil thing. I've still haven't done all this, have I? Oh god. Yeah, alright. Oh, desk. A chunk of ice. Good. Hooray. Alright, good. Right, after that excitement, let's go to the... I assume this is the arcade. Here it is. It is the Dirteni-like, or Dirteni, or whatever. Let's just go. So this is a mission, apparently it's um, quite full of baddies, and we'll probably finish it off. Like a right load of nonsense. Yep, I'm sure we'll be fine. There's already a lot of monsters. Millions of them, too. Hello, Crestials have asked me, Sail, to send their messages through me to you. They said you'd learn valuable information about what to do. That was a rhyme. These are fast as bloody owls. How many even. God damn it. <laughs> Haven't even started yet. Uh, you must find. Oh god, it's. Um... Did you die? We can't detect you on our target planet. Come back! For some odd reason, they decided to move and wait you out. The planet is still not safe. Well, it looks like... What armour have I got? It's still got decent armour, but I do wonder if I can actually do better than that at some point. Maybe I should have actually used my bloody sword instead of the bloody flamethrower. Well, let's have another go. Let's not... Let's not assume that I just... I need to completely revitalise my armour and stuff straight off. Let's um, take a opportunity to work out. But it looks a bit... No, I can't do anything to the surface. Didn't expect to be able to. <laughs> Let's bypass them all. Boing! Boing! <laughs> I think I just have to... The trouble is I may actually just have to kill them all. But... Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I've just basically got to kill them all. I might not be able to do that. I think this... I suspect. Yeah. There is no more. Unless. <laughs> Tried to cheat my way up there. Um, no. Actually, what's this goodie bag thing I've got? Take card. Oh, a thank you card. This was from ages ago. Uh, that I think was huge. What a hunt. You might just be second best hunter I know. I really can't remember what that was about. <laughs> uh, oh well. Also, oh, oh whatever. Anyway, it looks like we are going to have to start doing stuff to these enemies. What a palaver. Ow. <laughs> uh, fall damage is going to kill us. Oh, here we go. Uh, how tough are they? They actually are really bloody tough. Unfortunately, this, I, think, I have a horrible feeling this mission is actually impossible to cheese if you're going to do something like this. Oh, there's, there's another lad there. This is actually going to be a really tough mission unless I am unless I am either equipment up or cheese it. Well, having said that, it's not too bad. I mean, this is... You can theoretically still get me, you're just not very good at climbing. What's that? Uh oh. Die! I think if I take them on one at a time, it shouldn't be too difficult. What's this stuff? Stuff that I can't actually get. See, a ranged thing would be nice. That's not a ranged thing. <laughs> Just a bit piss. Oh! Oh, that's pretty. <laughs> Ooh, ah. All right, off we go. Scorch! This is my upgraded flamethrower as well. None of your tat. Right. Tempt. Hello. Right, off we go. Oh, a little bit of lag. And you're gone. This burning thing does actually help quite a lot. We are coming. Our scanners have detected a human ship with armed humans beaming down to the planet. Please stay safe. Uh-oh. I have a bad feeling. Uh, these purple-robed humans with weapons are heading towards you. Oh, no. Some of them are mining tools. Protect the treasure. What treasure? 
I'm gonna get rid of these. Look at this, this look at these cool specs he's got on. Well, didn't save you from the fire. Uh, this is the lad. Do 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 do. I'm actually liking old flamey. It's good. It's good solid thing. Oh, that's not a good th solid thing. That's a prick. Okay. I'm not quite sure I'm gonna be able to take these lads on. I haven't actually got a decent ranged weapon at all. However, there does seem to be a. Oh, hello. He's a, he's a faston. They do seem to be fighting amongst themselves. Which is convenient. Maybe I should let them. These aren't actually super tough. Uh oh. Uh oh. Huh! Oh, it's a different weapon! I just realised at the very last second that was not my normal Veolium broadsword. <laughs> that was um, my, my Veolium one, which I might actually swap, um, swap back onto, has got this. Which allows a quick escape and a lot of chopping all over the shop. So clearly it's time for an upgrade. So I've got myself a heartbroken fast crossbow. Uh, which is requiring mostly just like general old turp, but also some gasinite bars. Um, and weapon component, which is reasonably straightforward stuff that you get from... Oh, it's the, um, yeah, the, tech, the advanced tech thing up here. Uh, machine pistols, weapon components, all very straightforward stuff. And I've also got some armour, some the game-specific armour, the Heartbreakers set. Uh, which isn't like a vast upgrade, but it does seem to be... It looks... Well, we'll see. It might be. Let's have another go at this. This time, a bit more kitted out. I would have thought that this is supposed to be the stuff that you're supposed to use. Uh, but we'll see. See if um, it feels like I'm... Um, because at the moment, um, if these creatures touch me, they take off almost half my damage. Which obviously isn't very useful for anything. Oh, hello. <laughs> Alright. So it turns out the weapons are incredibly, incredibly tough. This one, I just chose this one based on the damage, really, more than anything. But, oh, bloody hell, look at this. I wonder if they're actually going to land a shot on me. I thought I'd have lost my, um, my hover bike, so I won't have to plough my way through all these creatures again. But this, this shouldn't take too much time this time. I'm going to let this one hurt me. Oh, look, it only takes off about a quarter damage. Alright, that's actually um really um, beefed us up then. Yeah, this was kind of like um, pretty essential. I was hubristic about trying to take it all on straight off. There's my little sword. Anyway. Oh, careful. Yeah, this is actually slicing through them. Also, it does not have any energy requirement. Zero energy used. Which is unexpected, to say the least. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit j um, jittery. I think that, unfortunately, there's a lot of these arrows... Um, I think it might be um, sucking up the starbound ram or whatever the hell goes on behind the scenes. They do eventually despawn those little arrow lads, the arrow corpses, by the looks of it anyway. Right, so we are getting into the... here we go. This is the main arena. It should be a little tr easier to actually deal with those robed guys this time. Let's get rid of some of these. Oh, he got me. He got me! And the music changes. And we are back into the fight. Got myself some nano wrapped nano wrap bandages this time. Right. Do 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 do. Wait and see. Fight and protect the area from cultists. Right, this time, well, I don't know what I'm doing, but at least I've got a stronger. Here we go. Off to the left. Let's give him a bit of the old ranged action. This is definitely a, a mission that you need range stuff for. Sod swords. Yeah, frame rate a bit, a bit janky, but I think it did warn us. Oop, I'm being shot a little bit. Arr! And for all time's sake, fire! Yeah. Go 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 go! Do do do! Come on, die! I think I might actually need to um give myself a little treat. There we go. Right. Hopefully, some of these are now going to despawn. And for the sake of the video, I think I actually will wait for them. <laughs> Just so we're not getting a frame rate of two. Here we go. I can hear them. Yep, there they are. 
Terrestrials, we've arrived, but it seems like standing here fighting these people one by one would be worthless. We have a possible plan to retreat for a while. Maybe search for another planet. Alright. Uh, oh dear. Well, the next bit of dialogue would be handy because if we are going to leave, you might want to let me know. We've still got the same mission on the top right. We'll just pick up some bog roll. Oh! Right. Run. Right, that was a bit of a shock. So, we've all got the swords out. Oh, so we've got a flamethrower. Oh dear. Someone's got a sword. A nasty little sword. Here we go. Retreat from the planet. We will wait them out. Uh, how? Return to the... Oh, I'm allowed to leave. I'm literally just allowed to leave. Never been able to do that before in a mission. Return to the Carestial Outpost. Uh, okay, that's quite quite interesting. It's quite an interesting little twist. Does anyone remember where there is? <laughs> there we go. So, tail between our legs, we slink back. Although, I st I'm still keen to see what's up here. Hang on. Oh, this is how you do it. Oh, you can't. It's solid. <laughs> yeah. Forget it. Forget it. I'm back! 100% successful trip. Actually, wait. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's a little question mark. Tier 7 package. Oh. Let's look at my package. Oh, that's all that crap furniture. Oh, no, it's, it's just more of these. And some bloody vending machines. Yeah, whatever. So, technically I've done that. This purple group of humans is taking, taking all of this dirt any like. Even with, our, even with our strong core power, it took us a really long time to find another source of it. We, we request you break in and clear the area free of cultists. Again. Uh, some unpaired terrestrials will help you break into the building, but won't fight. You'll have to rely on your AI called Sales Messages. Good luck. Quest difficulty very hard. God damn it. It's even harder, this one. Whip. Oh. oh. All right. <laughs> uh, I think I've yeah I've just worked out what whip stands for. Um. All right. So I think we've already reached the end of the quest part of the mod. Then. Ah. Interesting. Is in. Shit. I've got a vamp for. <laughs> ah. Okay, we never look around to see if there's anything other major um, in the mod. Um, other than like, um, well, not a huge amount, there's like a other weapons we could try out, but um, I think they're all going to be pretty much fairly obvious, straightforward stuff. This is um, a machine gun, that was a rocket launcher, and that would be a hand cannon. So long, probably just like overpowered versions of the existing ones, I guess. Um, I've also got these bloody things, which takes three more seconds. Let's see if we can get something that isn't terrible. You would actually be able to get gasonite bars from this, and also solarium. So this actually, in theory, might actually be useful for the rest of the mod. Four quid. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, another bloody loot box. Um, upgrade module. Eleven. Another bloody box. There's boxes within boxes here. So, eh, whatever really. Uh, but the other thing I want to do is check out some young planets, because these are supposed to be a bit more sort of varied and weird. Uh, I think they're like them. Um, they can be. I believe they can be any type of planet or any type of biomes. So a bit like the um, the unknown planets from um, Fracking Universe, I guess maybe. But also a bit kind of like them, um, likely to be bombarded with meteors of various descriptions. What are we even trying to do here? <laughs> oh, here we go. That's more like it. Right. Oh, it's all part of the same system. I was trying to go to that one as an actual major thing. But here we go. Unknown landing site. This planet has just formed and is constant meteor showers back and forth. Some stuff. So weather analysis. Orid. Surface biomes. Ecoxygenometeor, bioluminescence and hive. That could be quite tough. I've also... Stop it! I'm getting worse with this bloody interface. Anyway. Uh, looks like... Was that the same one? No oxygen. Okay. So is it the same one, is it? It basically is the same, but this one for some reason has got oxygen, but has loads of pressure. 
Uh, looks like this, maybe when I was maybe I'm wrong there. Maybe there's some surface biomes are always the same. Uh, but let's have a go. What can possibly go wrong? The answer is meteors. Right. <laughs> let's have a bit of a look. See. Say goodbye to our aquariums. Oh bloody hell! Oh. What was that? What was that on the surface? Metallic oxygen. Ah. Well, let's hide. Because those lads take no priz type people. I think we should be safe down here for a second just to gather our thoughts. And also sort out our hot bar. Look at them, like meat. God damn it. Where are our flamies? Here we go. Alright. That weapon is actually quite tasty and ludicrously overpowered, to be quite honest. But are the meteors finished? No. There's no real way of staying on the surface here, is there? I don't think. But listen to the. Oh, well, it's going to be a bit difficult. But the the sound effects in the background, the sort of the music, is basically just an ominous ooh sort of stuff. But there must be some good. That's the methane. That's not that exciting. But this is all very red. Um, so relatively safe, so long as you stick to this um, the, below the surface, I guess. Hello. You're a bit piss. Uh, nitrogen. So all this stuff that we don't really... Yeah. All the basic stuff. Strange how this, this mod is kind of like weirdly front-loaded towards a hell of a lot of um, resource gathering at first and working out systems. And then it sends you on these um, missions which are really like um, fairly straightforward slashathons. I suppose um, the whole point is to try and get you to um, um, spend time crafting all those... Oh, hello. Oh, these special weapons, I guess. We brave the surface. Oh, blimey. A thousand damage. Extreme! I'm actually taking my life into my own hands, but since I'm a casual character, it's not that much of an issue. Oh, here's the bioluminescent bit. That means I'll probably the meteors will take out the trees. There we go. Oh, it's... It's weirdly satisfying that. So other than that, it's just a really straight forward planet. It's just that it's impossible. It's just literally impossible to, to actually survive on unless you go into the surface. Ha. Huh. Well, okay, so I may as well stop here. Uh, there's not really much else we can do. Um just have a blah 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 blah. Sure we don't have to do this each time. Um so yeah, just with worth pudge, yeah, yeah, there are th um three planned chapters, although it seems that only the first mission of the first thing is actually done. And this is what we were doing before. Um, that one. There's two more to do there. And then you move on to this. Terrestrials want to help the human race with new shocking technology. We want to help you branch out and learn new techniques uh, to teach humans later. And then that'll eventually let you go and tonk Ariel, presumably. Um, but apparently that's still to come if the modder actually makes the things. Um, yep, yeah, so, no, nah, really. <laughs> okay, so, yep, yeah, thanks for watching this series. Um, we'll be back in Starbound soon. I'm not quite sure when, but whenever. Um, 1.4, still apparently a thing, even if it's not going to contain bounty hunters. But we'll see. And we'll be, as I say, we'll be back in it soon. So, thanks for watching, and bye for now.